I like that steering wheel, that's pretty cool. You got the self-driving? What'd you pay for this if you don't mind me asking? Watch, so you look, you drive, huh. stop, but slow down. So is it on self-drive now? Yeah, I'm not. Driving on bike, yeah. I don't even yeah. know watch. <laughs> okay, that's cool, okay. That's it, doing it, that's it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I would just fall asleep at the wheel. It did have one horror story. I couldn't believe it. I wanted to get into some Tesla stock. They had to give uh, Elon Musk and get him credit. <laughs> He's a treat this for sure. <laughs> No, you're good. How's it going, guys? I like that steering wheel. It's pretty cool. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. Is that an upgrade, I guess? Yes. Yes, sort of. You got the self-driving? Now it's on. Is it? Watch. So you look, you drive. Huh. Stop. Let's slow down. Uh -huh. How did you, uh, like, have you heard of self-driving before? Sounds like you have. Yeah, it's stop. <laughs> That's it, doing it. It's it. Oh. <laughs> um, I took a ride out in L.A., um, Two years ago. Okay. And a guy had it. Um, two, year, two years ago. Yeah, he put the turbo on and showed us how it took off. I was through. I couldn't believe it. He, he, he Yeah, he did the acceleration for yeah. you? Yeah. But now, my buddy just got the dual. Is it a dual motor or a dual turbo? Mm -hmm. Dual motor, yeah. Yeah, he, get, he just got that. And I guess that's supposed to be pretty quick, too, huh? Yeah, dual motors. Yeah, every Tesla is pretty quick. Yeah. This one is dual uh, dual motor with a uh, performance boosted, oh. so yeah, it's quite fast. But what did you think of self driving two years ago when you experienced it? It was pretty cool. Mm. We was in L.A., so the the you know the lanes were like eight lanes wide, mm -hmm. and the cars were just weaving in front of him, mm -hmm. and the car would slow down, and then as soon as the car got out of the way, it would speed up. I, I want to say he set his speed at around 78, mm -hmm. so it would slow down, and then and it always kept a certain distance. And I thought right. it was cool. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, yeah, this technology has come so far since then. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's it's really it's uh, back then it was still amazing. Now it's fabulous. It's it's, it's quite mind blowing. Now is this the um, the bigger version of the Teslas? As far as the car wise, mm -hmm. this is Model Y, uh, which is they call it compact SUV or a mid mid size SUV. There's Model Three, which is just uh, mid size sedan, but yeah, and there's a Model X, which is the full SUV. Model. Oh, so the X is the biggest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Besides Cybertruck. Yeah. Yeah. This is the I like this size here. It turns quarters and everything red. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not driving on by. Yeah. I don't need yeah. to watch. <laughs> so since two years ago, you you haven't experienced the latest version of self-driving. No. Okay. That's big. So what? So I reckon so. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, like, and I wouldn't know you self-driving it. I wouldn't know that. Yeah. Is this car considered loaded? Yes. Yeah, fully fully loaded. Yeah. Now my buddy got one. Uh, another buddy of mine. He spent right at a hundred and twenty for his. Uh huh. No. Uh, wow. I don't think his was quite loaded. He was missing something from being. Really? But I think he got the bigger one. Is it the X? You said or X? Yeah. The it has the fa Falcon wing doors. They say. I think so. Yeah. yeah the doors open like this. Like a like a bird. Oh no! No. Uh, oh, interesting. So it must be this model. Must be this. Yeah, must be this one from two years ago. Or? We bought one last year. Oh, okay. That's somebody else. Yeah. Okay. One of my buddies bought one last year, and I want to say it rigged. Base one twenty four. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know. That sounds a lot. It's not that expensive. No, they they're. I think they're closer to eighty. They think. Eighty would have made sense. Yeah. So I don't know what got. tax credits. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not for sure. Uh, could it could have been Model S then? Yes. That's, S, yeah, the that's full it. size full size sedan is like flatter, wider. That's, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then that would make sense then. Yeah. 
Yeah, right now for Model Y, you can get one for 35k. Oh, wow. Yeah, after tax credits. That's this model, right? Yeah. Uh, is that loaded though, or no? That one is not loaded. That uh, the one that I'm talking about uh, would be base model. So uh, a single single motor. Um, it goes about like 240 miles, 50 miles. But how far does yours go? Uh, about 300 miles. Um, yeah. Spot. Get a so. picture of your steering wheel. If you don't mind. Yeah, of course. So yeah, it's there. all yours. Yeah, it's 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 not. Uh, let me tell you, it's not. As you can see, it's not practical. You're missing this. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool. <laughs> it's cool, right. and you get used to it. And one other cool thing about this is like you got the knob on there, so which one? The yeah, yeah. This is so that I can do this and that. Like not this is really helpful. But like I got used to it in like two days, and since then I'm like I never look back. I like to have like the non uh, obstructive view right. of it, so right. that's pretty cool too. Yeah, I like that too. Yep. Right, I used to drive truck, so I know okay. I can drive with the top. So if you get Model S or Model X, um, you can choose to have this steering wheel. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the aftermarket, by the way. Oh. Yeah, it's not OEM part. Model 3 and Model Y, they don't come with the uh, yoke steering wheel. You have to get an after, after, aftermarket one. Yeah. Is this your first one that you owned? Uh, second one. Any issues with any of them? Zero. How many miles did you put on them? Um, Model 3, I think I put about 46,000 in like three years. And then this one, 20 something thousand. I bought used one. Oh, this was used? Yeah, this was used. Oh, wow. Yeah, but for the past four or five years, almost no issues. Now, when you bought it used, was it a big discount from buying a new one? Hmm. No, because at the time the market was really expensive for like automotive. So I think, um, yeah, I bought pretty high. Because there's just kind of a waiting list for them still, ain't there? No, and there's no uh, waiting list anymore oh, with, right. with Tesla. Yeah, you can get it the next day. Yeah. And drop off location. Yeah, I wanted to get into some Tesla stock at one time. I wish I would have. Mm -hmm. Right now it's a good price to get in. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still buying the dips. <laughs> It's right here. Yeah. What did you think of self-driving? Was good, right? Yeah. Awesome, man. I didn't even know you was. Right? <laughs> That's a good song. Well, enjoy the show, guys. Thank you Talking very much. To you. Yeah, have a good day. Let's look on the ground. <laughs> All right, another perfect drive. Customer is highly interested in uh, self-driving and Tesla. That was good to hear. On to next. Hello, Brent. Yes. All right. He's coming. Oh, he's coming. Okay. Hey, Brent. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. How's it going, guys? This is the uh, this is the SUV. This is the yeah. This is the compact SUV. They have two SUVs. Oh, they have two. Mm-hmm. She's with, she's thinking about getting one. That's what I was telling her. Like Model Y. This one is Model Y. Um, Model X is a little bit bigger. Um, but way more expensive. Yeah. Way more expensive. <laughs> yeah, because it has the the Falcon wing doors and stuff. Oh, oh it's that fancy one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. What do you pay for this? If you don't mind me asking. No, no. Uh, it's um. So I I I got a used one. Um. So I paid about like fifty k. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is performance uh trim and uh, it came with full self driving, which is what it's doing right now, self driving. Um. Yeah, so 50 grand. Because I have the Tesla charger in my garage. I don't have a Tesla. That was so sort of, we're like, we might as well get one if I have a charger, you know? Mm -hmm. I guess the previous owner installed it and yeah. just left it there. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah. that's very convenient for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This gets you around town. What, I mean, like, what, does it take like a. Like you're good for the whole day? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah, whole day, of course. Yeah. Um, so I usually charge up to 70%. And I drive, or I let it drive um, about like, um, what is it this way? Uh, nope. Oh, no, that one, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, so um, 70% um, it lasts the whole day and I drive about 150 miles per day. Yeah. But then, yeah, full charge is about 300 miles. And then how about uh, like maintenance and stuff? Obviously, there's no oil changes. It's, it's uh, like it's electric, obviously. So, mm -hmm. do you have any like maintenance besides like brakes and tires? That's only you have to pay for, or what? Uh, just tires, not even brake pedals. Oh, really? Because yeah, you uh, the car really gets, or you really get to use the actual brake pedal, because it has the re regenerative, uh, um, I guess, like internal braking system. Hmm. So you don't really get to use um. Shit, that's cool. Okay, so maintenance, you you're not really spending like anything then. Yeah, no, just a tire tire um, replacement. Um, that's pretty much it. No maintenance, and then uh, just refilling the liquid, the fluid, uh, the windshield. And that's it. That's pretty much it. No maintenance. <laughs> that's yep. cool. Yeah, so it's, um, it's like it's like having a f smartphone, you know, like yeah. so. Just people. The owners call it like smartphone on wheels. So, yeah, it's, that's pretty much it though. Really and, it. Yeah, it's really just is. battery, charge it. The car does, yeah. For me, like almost 100% of the driving, very safely. Um, so, so is it on self-drive now? Mm -hmm. since, since I picked you guys up, but then you got the gate wrong because he yeah. wasn't sure which gate to go. <laughs> so that's why, that's, that was the only time I took over. But the left turn that we made, it was all by self. It was doing that. That's cool. Unpredictable left turn, yeah. That was a pretty tricky situation, but it just handled it perfectly. Yeah, I would just fall asleep at the wheel. <laughs> that's why people always, they always say like, oh man, I think I'm gonna fall asleep, man. I'm like, yeah, we're not there yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could, I wouldn't trust yeah, that yeah. yet. But. Yeah, but you, you know, you get really comfortable with it and then Next thing you know, like, yo, and uh, if you're sleepy, like... There's one mistake, and then it's like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, that's cool, though. I like it. I think yeah. that's definitely worth something, you know, like, a, even if it's something yeah. where I traded mine and get somebody else. Does the moonroof open? Or is it just, like, a skylight? Oh, this, this thing? Yeah. Oh, this thing just, um, it's just there. It doesn't open. Yeah. That's so cool. That's what's so yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, this thing, um... I people love it. I love it too. Um, it just kind of makes this, you know, it makes it look more spacious. Yeah. And then, yeah, very comfy. Um, but yeah, this this glass roof, even though it's glass, uh, it can hold up to two elephants. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> just to put it in a perspective, so that's a lot of talk. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know if you guys saw this news um, that just came out recently, but I'm not sure exactly what city it was, but like a piece of crane, like a big piece of crane, it, it fell off or a big, big piece. Yeah, that was part of a crane, like it fell off from like a 60th floor and then it landed on like a Tesla. Uh, the driver survived with no injuries. Wow. The, the other drive died. Wow. Yeah, the, the two, two cars got uh, impacted by the, the fall. But then the, the Tesla driver came out and then, yeah, there was a, like a whole social media footage of it. Wow. Yeah, because it held up. It's crazy. Then it's busy. Mm -hmm. We had to give, uh, what's his name? Um, Elon Musk. Elon Musk, yeah, gotta give him credit. Yeah. He's a genius for sure. Yeah. I, I like him in that, like, he's, like you mentioned, he's not only he, he's a genius, but also he uh, he's trying to do good things for for people yeah um, he's been he's, he's been saying it he's been executing what he's been saying like pretty much for the for the past like decade so good for him I yeah, appreciate I it he's, he's awesome he's a yeah. badass for sure yeah do you have any crazy ass drivers you know, I mean, where's this Padres that you to kick out or uh no not yet cause um no good stories now. <laughs> you mean bad stories? Yeah, no, no good stories, man. Uh, well, cause like, you know, like on the Uber driver app, you can actually filter out people with uh, lower ratings. Uh, so I only pick up like a 4.9 plus. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, cause <laughs> it's just don't, actually I, I, you know, actually never mind. I did have one horror story. Uh, it, he wasn't like a, 
asshole or douchebag, anything like that. He was a kid, maybe like a, he's in like his junior or senior in high school, something like that. But I picked him up around mid midnight, um, and then like as I was dropping it off at his like his house, I I looked back because he wasn't he wouldn't get out. He he puked all over the. So I did the deep climbing uh, just for the record. But he, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. he actually tried really hard to not throw up. So yeah, he, he what he did was he he opened the window and then he like puked 80% of whatever. So the yeah the outside of the car got really messed up. But like yeah, just the side of the where you're sitting a little bit yeah like that. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, so <laughs> but uh, like I said, I had to spend like a three hundred dollars deep cleaning. Yeah, it was yeah. So, so when that happens, I can't. Like, what do you do? You just like, alright, go. Cool. You're done. Get out. Like, what? Like, how's that work? Uh, have to pay for it? Yeah, the the passenger like is responsible for the cleaning fee and stuff. So his dad came out. He was like, he just gave me cash. Well, the, like the, the kid was panicking. He was so out of it. He was oh, like, so "Oh so my god, god. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry, sir." Like he was going crazy. So I was like, "Hey, kid, like next time, just just let the driver know that you have to puke. Yeah, yeah there's nothing to shame. Over. Yeah, a shame about it. Just." And he was just like, I'm so sorry. He was like about to cry. <laughs> I was like, it's "Okay, man." So. He's probably grounded for life now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So since since that happened, like I, I picked up a couple of um, other like teenagers or like you know high school kids, and you know whenever I like you know pick them up around like eleven or midnight, I always ask them, "You okay, bro? Yeah. <laughs> like, are you are you drunk? It's yeah, okay if you're drunk." But like, yeah, I'm like they're like, "Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay." Yeah, so hop in, <laughs> and I just tell them like what happened, and they're like, "Oh, that sucks." <laughs> Because the kid who threw up, when he got in, he looked normal. He looked completely normal. And then he just puked. So just uh, I'm just a little bit paranoid. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you never know. So what did you guys think of self-driving? Ah, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool, huh? Awesome, hey. appreciate it, man. Yeah, of course. Yeah, My pleasure. Uh-huh, no problem. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, you too. Bye, right, brother. Bye. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Oh, you guys are drinking tonight, huh? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. No problem. That's good. Ah, uh, that was amazing. Yeah.